you were one of the lucky ones who didn't watch ATK JYP's latest survival show, just consider yourself lucky and don't watch it. I clicked on it out of curiosity one night and because I'm a judgy bitch, I needed to keep watching. Like I needed to keep JYP in line with his decisions, you know? But to sum up, the show follows JYP as he holds auditions in America in order to make a new global group. The, the auditions are a tough watch, let me tell you that. Very much Boys Planet energy, you know? <laughs> there were girls who danced but had never sung before, singers that had never danced before, and then there were Kaylee and Gina. Gina had actually trained at JYP and was very much recognized as the one true ace of the bunch. And Kaylee, although I don't think she ever danced before, she kinda ate everyone up. And when JYP asked her, like, how? She was like, I taught myself. I watched a tutorial on how to sing professionally, and I taught myself, and then I learned this choreo in a day. So these two were like, ready to the view. They showed up at that audition with a major in K-pop and a minor in serving -tology. The only thing is that Kaylee was 12 and Gina was 13. Both of them had similar journeys in the show. Their main criticism was the fact that they didn't show emotion through their performances. Like, I'm sorry this 12-year-old cannot emotionally connect to an Adele song. I was honestly rooting for Kaylee because she always seemed very robotic and like from robot to robot she reminded me so much of me so <laughs> i kind of live vicariously through her while watching the show but there was an instance that really worried me and it was when she got her first criticism and it wasn't even that bad it was like oh you're singing a little bit of tight but you sound beautiful and she breaks down immediately and can't stop crying because she wasn't perfect, essentially. And that's when it finally dawned on me what it meant for Kaylee to debut so young. Like, don't get me wrong. Even if I were in her position at my age, I would have cried. Like, it's such a vulnerable position to be in. And in the second it took me to process that, Kelly had already stopped crying. She was like, it's actually good that I'd received some criticism because I can use this as motivation to get better. And it's like, Kelly, babe, <laughs> the criticism is that you don't show emotion and you just compartmentalize them in a second. Like I said, I see a lot of me in Kaylee, and just now, as a 24-year-old, I have begun to understand that maybe processing emotions is good. Like, this is a brand new idea for me. And sadly, idle training and idle jobs need you to act as an adult. And that's not a problem for Kaylee because she already does it. Um, but I am worried for her. Like, how long can she keep this up when she's being judged and overworked at the same time? And this can be said about any young idol. I'm just highlighting Kaylee's case here um, because we have seen that she tends to be a perfectionist and is also not emotionally mature. And she shouldn't be, she's a child. Um, but that's a scary combination in K-pop. In the end, Kaylee ends up joining the final lineup while Gina fails to debut. Don't even get me started on that um, because I have things to say and they are not nice them didn't really improve much on the emotion side of performance. I think the fact that Kaylee would in a childish way help her, she even said so at her disadvantage is that I'm young, but my advantage is that I'm cuter. She did egg on her final performance, like she was making the cut. Idols debuting young is not new. The minute someone raised Kaylee's age to the question, people were like, yeah, and Boa debuted at 13 too, so... But the fact that it's normal shouldn't take away from the fact that it's still not okay. And there are a lot of health professionals out there that can inform you about the psychological damage that being a K-pop idol at a young age can provoke. I know it sounds niche, but it's actually a very well-researched topic. However, I wanted to hear it from the people that experienced it firsthand, especially idols who debuted young but are now in their 20s and 30s. So I did some digging and found some things idols have said about debuting young. Since we were talking about Boa, she confessed that she was put through extreme diets at a young age, 
shocking and she thinks it may have stopped her growth during puberty. Another idol that recalled a similar thing was Tiana, who debuted at 15 years old. She was talking about new jeans, whose magne was only 14 when they debuted, and she said, are, are they eating well? I wonder if they won't be able to eat well because they have to wear crop tops, or if they won't be able to sleep well because they don't have time to get some rest. The crop top worry? <laughs> I'm heartbroken. Like, it's so specific and painful. IU is another artist that debuted at 15, and she has actually talked about her struggle as a young idol a lot. She highlights especially her battle with her weight and the pressure she felt to build her own career and provide for her family. We now see her on her show Palette, where she talks to juniors and gives them advice, and she always remarks on eating healthy. Besides the constant surveys on their weight, other idols have taught regrets with not enjoying their youth. Jungkook from BTS, who also debuted at 15, expressed his thoughts in his song My Time. The song starts by saying, it feels as if I became an adult quicker than anyone, and continues. I made my own lotto, but perhaps I was too fast. There are traces of what I missed. And the young me who grew up without me knowing, like a child who lost his way. Mark from NCT also spoke about how he wished he had experienced more life and fun when he was younger and how he didn't get a chance to really learn about himself and who he was as a person, a feeling he reflects in his song Child. Jihyo from TWICE Though she debuted when she was 18, she actually started training when she was 8 years old. She said, I feel sad that I don't have any memories of my school days. When school ended, I would go to the agency right away. When I think about it now, I envy my friends who were able to eat spicy rice cake and go to karaoke after school. Jemin from NCT, who debuted at 15, also had similar thoughts. He said, I left school in my first year of middle Going to school is nice. It's unfortunate because there is this social life you can only learn at school. I need friends except for my members. Damien from Shiny openly said he thinks he debuted too young and that he was under a lot of pressure at a very young age as he couldn't keep up with classwork and Shiny at the same time. I also tried to see if someone had spoken about the other side of this issue, maybe someone who didn't regret it at all, and the only ones I could find were God Seven's Bam Bam and Yu Gyeom. They both debuted when they were 16 years old. Yu Gyeom said he didn't regret starting early, and Bam Bam expanded his comment by saying, We're now 24, and other people are just finishing college and stuff, but for us, we have already set up our skills and experience and lifestyle. Yes, we sacrificed our childhood, but we got the things we wanted. Of course, we have to keep in mind that this comes from artists who debuted under the big three, found success, and I have to say, they're also males. We have reached the end of this video, and I sincerely hope all the girls from Pacha, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't get over that name. Um, I hope they're, they're all happy and healthy, especially because the people on the internet have been slamming their performances. And though I also think JYB should have trained them for a longer period of time, we can say so without tearing down their confidence.